My name is Allie Jardine. I am an iPhoneographer and artist living in Petaluma, California. I grew up in a small town in Mississippi uh, where I had a lot of freedom to roam and explore. Um, and as I got older, uh, the landscape of Mississippi wasn't uh, enough to keep me interested. If you have that personality that is super connected with nature and you need to be around beautiful things and trees and the ocean, um, California is the place to be. And that, that is, that's a big part of why I'm here. Uh, my life is ruled pretty much by my kids and my husband. Being a full-time mom uh, definitely requires sacrifice. Uh, you sacrifice what you want to do, some goals, but it's a short period of time in your life. And so although I sacrifice chasing maybe a dream to be a painter or a, a photographer, I think that I still am young enough that my kids when they're gone, I can st I can still pursue those um, those career choices for myself and still not miss them growing up and their lives. I love my kids. I want to watch them. I want to see them grow. I want to be there. I don't want to miss anything. I want to tell a story in the photos and the paintings that I create something that that makes people think a little bit. I want there to be some good, but I want there to be some shadow also. Uh, I want them to be balanced, but I want them to be magical. I want when people to look at them, they think, is that really a tree? Does that tree actually exist in the world? And I've had people ask me that quite often and they, they're actual trees, you know, that exist. My favorite place in Petaluma right now is Helen Putnam Park, and it's uh, just a few minutes from my house. When I wake up in the morning, I come down the stairs and I have a view over the town and over the trees. And I, if it's foggy, it's super exciting. I just can't wait to get out of the house, get up into the woods. And it's just a place that I feel really peaceful and I like, I like the silence and the quiet and I just feel sort of in tune with the natural world when I'm in the woods. Restlessness is me, you see, you see. Right now, a series I'm working on is called uh, American Girl, and it's a series that's based on how American society uh, kind of pigeonholes our children, our daughters, into being a certain way. It can be really hurtful to girls. Uh, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that girls don't have to be tied up by these rules that society has placed upon them, that they can break free, that they can be angry, and they can speak their minds, and they can look the way that they want to look, and they their bodies are beautiful no matter what their bodies look like. My biggest challenge is actually having the energy to be creative after doing things for other people all day long. And um, that was especially true with painting. Uh, mobile art and iPhoneography has given me uh, a greater balance in that aspect, I think, because I can do it. I can steal those moments when I'm waiting for them or uh, in between laundry or, you know, whenever I can fit it in. And so I think that it, it has allowed me to be a, a much uh, more creative person than I would have been able to if I was painting. And a canary called out in a trembling voice to its children, Come away, my dears, it's high time you were all in bed. On various pretexts, all moved off, and Alice was soon left.